kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say no, no. What is up, people? Showing up the king here, back with another video, and today. I'm bringing you guys some more action figure toy news with the main focus being on G.I. Joe. Yo, Joe. <laughs> All right, fellas, you guys know what it is. Uh, I only bring these videos out when I have something new to talk about. And today I definitely have something new to talk about. So sit back and relax and enjoy the G.I. Joe news. Also, if you guys are a fan of NECA and if you are also fans of Gargoyles, uh, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm definitely going to be talking about the new uh, NECA release from the recently announced uh, last week. Um, I did not get a chance to talk about it right away like I wanted to, but I figured since um, I was talking about action figures, I might as well throw it into the Joe News. Um, again, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and uh, make sure you are following my Instagram, which is Magnerd Podcast, which is M-A-G-N-E-R-D Podcast. Uh, so whenever there are any new uh, action figure news, you guys will be the first to know because you're following my Instagram, all right? Let go. All right, so as you guys know, a quick recap. Uh, April 9th will be the Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest. Um, again, that will be where we get the newest releases from Marvel Legends, from Star Wars, from G.I. Joe. Uh, and again, I think from, um, and the reason why I'm mentioning the date again, just a as a reminder, is because usually how this stuff works is probably 24 to 48 hours before these things get released there's usually always leaks and when i say leaks i mean like basically the toys that will be revealed i won't say all of them will get leaked but a strong amount of them will be leaked so again if that does happen uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to my instagram page so you'll know what gets leaked because anything that comes out gi joe related i'll be posting there first and then when i get home from work i will make a video like i'm doing right now um as far as a quick target update um, on the uh, Cobra Infantry and the Zartan, uh, fingers crossed, uh, Amazon still has it set to release on April 5th, which is next week. So hopefully I'll be getting my uh, Cobra Infantry and my Zartan. Again, um, I know a lot of people were a little bit upset because it looks like BBTS also pushed theirs back to April. But again, that doesn't really surprise me because it's very, very rare that uh, BBTS would release a figure before Amazon. Um, so again, I, I still also have it um, on um, pre-order with Hasbro, but we all know that Hasbro is the last to uh, to release anything, and it's their own company, so which is unfortunate. So um, what I wanted to talk about today is uh, the GI Joe Flame Toy Snake Eye reveal that was dropped just today. Uh, for those who don't know, the reason why this figure is here again, this is not me rehashing old information. I kind of want to just refresh you guys on what the releases are so when i show you what's next you will understand why so again um, just a little bit of information on flame toys they do a lot of third party um stuff for hasbro a couple years ago they got the license for uh transformers from hasbro and they brought out a lot of great products one of which is their um flame toys um kura car curry lines which is uh, one of their most expensive lines. And I actually have the Optimus Prime. Uh, that thing is actually one of the holy grails in my collection. It's one of it, one of the, if not the uh, most expensive action figures I have, but I absolutely love it. Um, they also have this uh, furry model line. And uh, the furry model line is what this Snake Eyes and this uh, Storm Shadow is gonna be uh, coming out as you can see here, the uh, Storm Shadow and the uh, Snake Eyes. Now, what we do know is that this uh, furry uh, model line are usually model kits where you have to put them together. They usually go about six to seven inches tall and they usually have about 40 part, um, points of articulation. Now, me personally, um, I do believe this is gonna probably be a model kit. Again, we're not 100% sure because again, uh, I just am not sure how something that looks this good could be a model kit. But again, I have been shocked before with some of these model kits, so I could very well be a model kit. Either way, whether it's a six-inch scale action figure or a model kit, I will be picking it up. Um, but the reason why we're here today and the reason why you guys are watching this video is because just today, they announced vehicles for the furry, um, furry model line 
uh, namely the uh, Ashikage cycle for Storm Shadow, as well as the Ashikage cycle for Snake Eyes. Now again, these two bikes look absolutely incredible. I am super excited to get my hands on these things. Um, I'm hoping, and again, the reason why I'm mentioning this is I'm hoping on April 9th is when they probably get the go-ahead to go ahead and release more information on this, like pre-orders and when it's going to come out. Because again, I, I'm pretty sure that Hasbro wants this stuff to come out when the G.I. Joe movie drops, I believe later this year. Again, I do just to go back and look at the um, Snake Eyes, uh, the Storm Shadow bike. I love the Cobra's insignia on the front. I love the Ashikage sign on the side. Again, for some reason, when I'm looking at the two of them, I'm definitely um, digging Storm Shadow's bike over Snake Eyes. Again, I like Snake Eyes' bike, but again, I am a sucker for that Cobra insignia. So again, I will be buying this. And again, if this is for the furry model line, it will definitely be fitting those two uh, characters, the Storm Shadow and the Snake Eyes. And again, I do believe that these are based off of the new Snake Eyes movie that we're supposed to be getting. So, uh, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But again, we have the Snake Eyes, the Storm Shadow, and we now have the Ashikaki Cycles released from Flame Toys. And again, we do not have a release date or any price information or whether or not these are going to be just sold as a single unit or if there's going to be like a model kit that you have to put together. But trust and believe, guys, the second I find out, you guys will find out. So make sure you guys are subscribed. All right. So again, like I said, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. So that's it for the G.I. Joe news. So if you guys want to stick around for the uh, Gargoyle stuff, uh, let's get into it. So here we have out of nowhere, out of absolute nowhere, uh, NECA Toys, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with NECA Toys because, again, as anybody who collect, collects NECA knows that NECA is known for uh, great products that are uh, questionable quality. Uh, everybody knows that if you get a NECA product, you better either heat it up with a blow dryer or dunk that shit in hot water. Um, and this is a release that I honestly, when this popped up on my Instagram feed last week, I honestly thought it was a custom. It looks, if you look at this Goliath, uh, this thing looks like a freaking uh, custom. But then come to find out, NECA revealed that they are, they got the license from Disney to do the uh, Gargoyles. And they are releasing Goliath. And this is going to be releasing in July. Uh, this is a eight inch figure. And again, it's highly articulated. You know, based off the Gargoyles animated series, and they will be in the window box packaging. Um, the box, it actually, the action figure itself comes with uh, the figure, two different face sculpts, two pairs of hands, an extra left hand, a book, and a jalapeno. And again, if you guys have ever watched the show, uh, then you guys know that Goliath loves spicy food especially jalapenos I'm like jalapeno <laughs> and again for those who don't know if there's some young guys out there um, who's watching this video gargoyles was a show that came out in the 90s on disney it was one of the best animated shows of all times and again it had some amazing characters that you would not see in any other tv show like this was a show that was in my top five best shows animated shows when i was growing up you know, I was a Power Rangers kid, I was a 90s X-Men, 90s Spider-Man, and then it was Gargoyles. And again, I am super excited about this release solely because there is just the potential. Like, we have Goliath, we have Demona, Brooklyn, Bronx, Hudson, like, Elisa Maza, like, Xanatos. Like, if we can get... The Xanatos in his uh, gargoyle armor, and then his other gargoyles as like um, as like uh, builder figures, or however they want to do it. Like I'm all for it. Like gargoyles was one of the shows that just had so a wide variety of cast that NECA could probably eat off of this brand for like 15 years. That's how many characters was in gargoyles. Like again, they again the pack. You know, Xanatos' minions, the, the creatures from Avalon, Odin, like, it, it was like a plethora of characters that they can do for this line. So, again, the the, the, uh, the figures itself are available now for pre-order. You guys can go to BBTS, you can go to Entertainment Earth, 
Um, there are lots and lots of places. This is not a um, like a Target or Walmart exclusive. You can actually go on and uh, pre-order this thing. And again, like I said before, it's, it's going to ship in July. And I can guarantee you this thing will sell out. Um, I believe you have another week or two to pre-order. Um, and again, it's running about $37.99, depending on where you go. Some places it's $40. I know Big Bad Toy Store. Um, also, I think they have theirs at $32.99, and then you have to pay for shipping. So you're, 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 you're going to be paying um, a, a fair price. Now, the only thing that I noticed about this thing, and uh, again, it makes me a little bit upset, is that the wings themselves do not kind of float into and like go on the shoulders the wingspan are like kind of out like that permanently so that is a little bit of a problem i do hope that neca will come out with another version where his wings are can kind of like go around his waist or around his um shoulders like in the show but again um let me know what you guys think comment in the section below thumbs up the video again make sure you guys are supporting the channel this is showing up the king have a good one okay. Okay.